Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion we're off to Buninyong. Buninyong is a town 11 kilometers or 6.8 miles from Ballarat or 120 kilometers 74.5 miles northwest of Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. The town is on the Midland Highway. Buninyong was proclaimed a town on the 27th of June 1851, on the same day as Winchelsea, Port Arlington, Longwood, Cavendish, Euroa and Gisborne. The name originates from an Aboriginal word also recorded as Bunning Yuang, said to mean man lying on his back with his knees raised, which is in reference to the shape of Mount Buninyong. European settlers named it Buninyong and the same later it simplified to its current form. Thus we've had three pronunciations, one being Bun in Yuang, Buninyong and Buninyong, and we've finally settled on Buninyong, which is quite interesting. Buninyong has an important place in history as one of the principal inland communities of pre-Gold Rush Victoria. It was explored in January 1838 by a party including Thomas and Somerville Learmonth and then occupied by the Learmonth in February 1838 as a sheep station. A post office opened on the 1st of January 1845 to serve the needs of the settlers and was known as Banenyong until 1859. A blacksmith and wheel wright shop was opened in the 1840s and its proprietor, a Thomas Hiscock, was to have a profound effect on the district. Hiscock, hearing of a reward for gold discovery in Victoria, prospected in several gullies around the Buninyong hamlet, finding it on the 8th of August 1851. A gold rush did take place and although the Buninyong find was patchy, the miners discovered the rich Ballarat field at Golden Point within a short time. A Hiscock memorial is east of the Buninyong Cemetery. In June 1850, the Buninyong Township had been surveyed and land sales occurred in May 1851. Extensive gold mining was delayed until 1857 when the Buninyong Gold Mining Company began operations on 57 hectares of Learmont's Buninyong property. The railway arrived in Buninyong and opened on the 12th of September 1889. However, in the 1890s mining did decline and by the 1930s the population had fallen by nearly half to about 800 people. The passenger service on the railway line ended in 1931 and the goods service on the 28th of February 1947. The Catholic and Methodist churches were opened in 1853 and 1856. An Anglican school was opened in 1857 and enlarged Catholic and Presbyterian churches were opened in 1858 and 1859. Buninyong's landmarks include Mount Buninyong, which is a volcanic mountain, gardens and the many historic buildings including, but not limited to, the Town Hall, Crown Hotel and the Holy Trinity Church. The Buninyong Botanical Gardens at Buninyong are among the oldest botanic gardens in the state of Victoria and you will see them, sort of, it's where I've parked the car to get the drone flying, so just look behind me, that's basically where it is. And once again, all the credits and references to where I've sourced all the material, including the photos, will be in the description below. For those that might be interested, these wind turbines are actually not in Buninyong. They're very close, they're only about a 10-15 minute drive to these wind turbines and what I normally like to do is I set my navigation void of all freeways and highways and of course tolls might take me twice as long but this is how I stumble into places like this
Here we have some kindergarten kids getting a visit from the Bunningyong Fire Brigade. Now also, just as a heads up, there is a lot of wind noise. It was a very windy day. Um, it didn't rain, but boy, was it windy. Now coming into focus just there on the left, that green board, on the other side there's a great map highlighting all the historical buildings in the area and I use that to sort of navigate around to highlight where those buildings were, which is very handy. Now I'm not 100% sure, but this roundabout that I'm on at the moment appears to be the central hub um, of activity for the town. Um, you've got pretty much everything around within a couple of hundred metres of this roundabout. Also worth noting that there are quite a number of cafes that are open seven days a week.
So here we have an area that provides free barbecues, public toilets, children's playground, there is picnic tables to be used, and there's also a few pergolas, so if the weather changes, you've got somewhere to hide out. Now this is just one of many. The other one I noticed was at the Botanical Gardens that had a sort of similar setup. Road cycling and mountain bike riding is very popular in Bunningong and they do have a lot of events and a lot of rail trails for the mountain bike people. It doesn't appear that there's too much of the railway station left at Bunningyong. Somehow that old police station has more character and appeal than the police station or the new one next door. The Nugget Hotel was a two-storey building and now it is a private residence. Now at the rear of this church, I believe, is the old schoolhouse.
Now, there are a lot of farming uh, vehicles moving about, so if you hear any sudden noises, it's probably a tractor or a truck going about its business in the area. It's time to get the drone up and let's see what we can see in Buninyong. subscribe subscribing really doesn't cost you a cent and it helps out the channel immensely but most importantly stay safe commute safe and have a great day